charges of corruption at our state capitol. Hotels, casino chips, and cash. Those are among the alleged bribes two Hawaii lawmakers are accused of taking. In a news conference this afternoon, U.S. Attorney Claire Connors and FBI Special Agent Stephen Merrill announced the filing of charges against former Senate Majority Leader Kalani English and now former Representative Ty Cullen, who has resigned. Each has been charged with one count of honest services wire fraud. Manola Morales has details. Federal prosecutors say the two former lawmakers received tens of thousands of dollars in cash, as well as hotel rooms in Las Vegas and chips from a casino in New Orleans. Federal officials say former Senator English received bribes as far back as 2015. According to the charging documents, in 2020, he received $1,000 from someone identified as Person A to introduce a bill on cesspools, which the Fed say would have benefited Person A's business. Court documents say there are recorded conversations of English saying, think about what you would like to see for the cesspool bills. Just think about the outcomes. I'll deal with the language. He agreed to do so, and he received $1,000 from Person A. In another instance, as the legislative session continued in 2020, Person A then asked Senator English at the time to kill that legislative action. Feds say other transactions took place, including Person A providing two hotel rooms for English in Las Vegas. Feds say English received a total of $18,000. The biggest payout was $10,000. Court records say Person A wanted English to hold off and kill the bill. English allegedly said, it's easy to kill bills. This one, I can make sure it doesn't move in the money committees. As for Ty Cullen, Prosecutors say he received $23,000, a lot of that in casino chips. They were both in New Orleans for a conference. At that time, Person A provided Representative Cullen with casino chips. When those were cashed out, they were of a value of greater than $22,000. Court records say Cullen received bribes as far back as 2014. In March 2020, feds say he also received $10,000 to kill a bill relating to cesspools. He received at least seven separate disbursements of cash from person A. Similar to former state senator English, Representative Cullen did not disclose the receipt of this money on his gift disclosure form. English's attorney released a statement saying he is extremely remorseful and deeply sorry for his actions. He has cooperated fully with the federal government and will be taking formal responsibility in the form of a guilty plea to be completed in the coming days. Prosecutors say English and Cullen have not been arrested. They will make their initial court appearance in the next few days. Manola Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.